Wolf, Wolf is a great, a good pick in the plan. Wolf does pretty well. Laser is really ridiculous in this matchup. The one thing you kind of have to look out for, from my perspective, playing Wolf in this matchup is uh, Pichui is pretty good at anchoring you. You don't really have anything that can beat it, but it's honestly like you can just kind of stay out of Pichui range, and it's like fine. I would be legitimately shocked if, uh, like, I, I would be shocked if. I mean, I, I kind of would be shocked if the wolf takes a set, but a, a game is not out of the possibility. I have a feeling. I have a feeling though, with how common wolf is um, as a character, so that lucky, lucky knows this matchup. Lucky really knows well. this matchup like the back of the yeah. Game. Wolf is not super common in Minnesota, especially at like as high of a level as like Grand Finals and Advantage State. Uh huh. But. There's a whole lot of good wolves in the world. Yeah. And Lucky, I'm sure, has found time to play with, like, Evander in St. Louis or anybody like that. Uh-huh. Though, we do see uh, Maya able to match the... Maya able to match uh, Lucky Stock immediately with a fair back air. That is one of Wolf's most explosive combos right there. I'll kill you at, like, 50 if you get the right hitbox. Name one good wolf. Uh, nope, none exist. Big wolf. Um, but, yeah, I I really like the use of, uh, the use of the double jump there. That, that's like a classic fast fall in my jump is, like, jump in, double jump to bait an attack, and then land, w and then with punish with, like, with a combo starter. Like okay, the, like, yeah. the, like the fair. It's a classic, like, wolf-fox type mix up because you can use your, like, really, really good movement speed to punish from ranges they feel like they're safe to swing at. Like... They swing into the, they swing into the double jump and then um, you can punish them from the range that they think they're safe. It's, yeah. it's like a super classic mix up. Also, oh, actually, gonna wow, one thirty. That feels a little early to me. I feel like I wouldn't expect that to kill till like one forty or so, one forty five maybe. But I don't know. I'll keep it hundred. I didn't know plan had to kill so. Up first, up first, pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about Plant. Yeah. Um, Plant is a very... Um, I'll, I'll run down some basics right now, just so, sure, just sure. so you know. So, Plant is basically uh, a character who has basically like has the tools to play neutral. None of them are all that good outside of dash attack and Fatui. Um, and, but the reward for winning neutral is you get some of the best blood trapping in the game. Yeah. Oh, the fair, oh, the fair yeah. the wolf flash. Okay, catching the di up there at a scenario where fair back air is kind of weird to hit the strong hit. So finding that fair wolf flash and there's game one to Maya. But um, yeah. So the thing with plant is uh, there the ledge trapping is ba the ledge trapping is basically like. They, they throw a Patui up at roll distance. Yeah, and, and then they roll, just get to yeah. start. Yep, so if you jump, they throw the Patui. If you roll, they just drop the Patui. Yeah. If they if they if if you neutral get up, there's space to where they can call out a button with dash attack. Yeah. So it's like fine. They can like drop, they can drop, they can like shield drop the Patui and then dash attack, and it's like okay. Or they can drop Patui and then drop Patui and then shield and then dash attack, and it's all fine. So like they can, they're at, they, they're able to, Pitui, especially under the platform, it's like yeah. it's hard to punish. Okay, called on, call on a jump with up air for a few extra percent there, but worth noting, speaking of ledge trapping, Wolf is also really good. Um, Wolf is among some of the best in the game. It's also some of the freest in the game. Like, like between forward tilt, nair, and like, forward tilt, nair, and like empty jump grab, you kind of don't really need much else. Up smash also can clean up stocks at high percent. It is, but it's it's. But both these characters are going to be looking to find a lot of their kills on the ledge. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. We see like like Wolf can just kind of go for that F tilt every time. Yeah. It's, you don't you don't like very very low commitment. Yeah. There's no risk to doing it basically, and if you get a two frame, you get a kill. So it's like. Yeah. Lucky yeah. so gonna find the stock with the upper. That's more the percent I would expect up there to kill at. Is like that yeah. the percent Mayo is up there. Ooh, actually, I kind of thought Lucky maybe misread, but actually finds a pivot grab there, so that's a really smart DI mix up. Put the Nair into the forward tilt. 
we're kind of in this awkward scenario where for Wolf where you can't really kill with anything safe. The safe stuff doesn't start killing for another 10, 15% or so. So your best bet is kind of just ledge trapping. Which, and that happens sometimes with Wolf too. Yeah. Wolf up smash sucks. Yeah. So I actually was telling Maya earlier, I can complain about like Wolf moves not working and things like that, but um... But yeah, uh... That is a pretty classic Wolf moment, is someone with a lot of momentum coming into your up smash, falling out of it at high percent. Um, that just happens. It's the same with forward tilt. Okay, looked like we were set up for a pretty high damage combo there, but actually Lucky was able to tech out of the dash attack, so... Smart to guy down there. Yang down versus up is kind of a mix up versus wolf is the thing. Um, because Yai down, you put yourself in a tech scenario, which is usually pretty bad, but it can be used as a mix up if you've been Yai'ing up to avoid tech scenarios. Like, you can all of a sudden give yourself options your opponent didn't think were like possible by like Yai'ing down and teching versus Yai'ing up and jumping or air dodging or something. Yeah, okay. But yeah, Lucky, after losing game one to that fair to that fair wolf flash. And there he killed Elias' Mario. Yeah, seems to find... Seems to find a bit of a foothold in game two, and... Honestly, it looks very solid. We'll see. I, I would guess we'll see Lucky continue to build on this. Yeah. Um, And maybe, if I had to guess how the set will play out, I would say Lucky will win this game, and Maya will try to counterpick game four. And if it works, we may see a reset. If it doesn't, then Lucky will win advanced day. See ya! Shout out to Phantom. Good run today from him. But... Yeah, so we are... It's, it's kind of looking like Lucky has a very solid handle. Okay, I actually really like the reflector off play that area. Yeah. Because reflector, first of all, it, reflect, it reflects the poison cloud, yes. which means yeah, it damages, yeah, um, it damages uh, plant instead. But also, uh, it reflected the QE that Lucky tried to do. Uh, he kind of got extra blown out there for doing that. I do like this range that Maya's choosing to play at right now. Um, outside of like, outside of, I don't, I don't, I think the like. The range where you're out of dash attack range, but plant is still in laser range, is probably about where you want to play in this matchup. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Um, because you can kind of react to everything plant does and get a punish accordingly. Even, even now, what? Even then, though, it's kind of... Oh, oh. yeah, you get a free down smash here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, that type of range is probably about where you want to play against Piranha Plant. Actually, it does steal the jump there, so... It, uh, was it? Okay. Yeah, and Lucky, finding that back air, that's kind of, yep. The first back air was kind of a backbreaking one to get hit by, because getting sent off stage after doing that type of mix-up is just like, yeah, like, alright. Like, I, you have to, you have to be very, like, you have to be like very calm and controlled to get back to find your way back on the ledge after doing something like that. We are seeing a wolf combo here. Double up air into the forward air does quite a bit of damage. That is one nice thing about wolf is all of his aerials do so much damage and they link into each other. Yeah. So his damage output is really, really, really good. See you, Ryan. Uh, his damage output is really, really, really good. But his um the main the main thing about him is. His, his damage output is really good, he has a lot of really good safe moves, but as we've seen so far this set, Maya's had a couple stocks where they've just struggled to find a kill. Lucky's lived to like 140, 150, and like Lucky has kind of been able to take advantage. Yep, I, I don't blame yeah. them. Man. I don't blame them. That's the kind of thing where, like, if you're going to go for that kind of play, you have to buffer it. So, Maya was like fully sold out on like fair side be there I, that's entirely understandable so we're probably going to see a switch here you think maybe Maya might also just stay wolf I'm uncertain we might see like carrier Kazi here though army brawler I I'm actually not sure falcon okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> stop stop Ooh. oh it actually is falcon okay okay 
So this might have a falcon. Nah, uh, to my knowledge, no. But I wouldn't okay. be surprised. Right. Um, Maya is one of those players where they have a really good baseline game plan with like every character. Yeah. It's just only a few characters of theirs are like more fleshed out than like the the, very, the good baseline. I yeah, I understand like. what you mean. They're able to they're able to play just about everyone at a competent level though, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. They just they prefer to play the the like characters with really broken kill confirms, like yeah. Ozia, Me Brawler, etc. The ones that can re the ones that can really like kill you off like one or two touches. Which is fair. I mean I feel like that's ultimate is a game where it's rewarded a lot, so. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I feel like Falcon was probably not the way in this matchup though. I feel like Falcon kinda just gets blood trapped for days, the thing, and like how are you like hitting plant is probably kinda tough. Just because like you have to be close to plant to do that. Yeah, we saw that little trick that Lucky did there, um hitting the Pichui on the PS2 ledge causes it to do that weird angle. Okay, other. yeah. It causes it, it makes it come out like if you do Pichui and then immediately drop it and hits PS2 ledge and does like a weird little angle which catches like a perfect recovery. Yeah. Gun. And that can that actually is one of the things that Lucky uses to set up a lot of edge, a lot of edge traps. Mm -hmm. Is you can kind of force someone to recover a specific way by doing that. And you can you can very easily cover like the low route by doing like a down air or an air or something. Yeah. Or you can or you can cover the wide route as well by just setting up a ledge trap. It's 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 a really really broken option that Plant has. One of like very few I would say. Plant is widely considered not that good of a character. Lucky does kind of make you think otherwise though when he plays a character. I uh, yeah I, I'm convinced personally. Yeah, Lucky is a phenomenal player. But, ooh, I really like wow. the down smash to get the, to get the trap there. That's a very little used plant move, but a very smart use of it there. Yep, he's gonna find the back air. I'm kind of surprised that didn't. Rocket Boost has removed a lot of priority. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. That was Jenga. Oh, yeah. We, we just heard the, the Jenga blocks in the other room all fall over, and it kind of just, like, disturbed. Yeah. Dude, me and Cam were playing Big Connect 4 earlier. That's I smoked him. I did get smoked. It was yeah. sad. It was a really sad, really bad look for Big Will. Ba bad look for Bad Will, for being honest. That's that's tough, man. It was a, It's a more apt way to put it, though. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. Okay, I actually really like the Rapid Boost there to cover the landing after uh, after whipping the knee. But it's it's probably too little too late at this point, I would say. Like Falcon does have really stupid like punch of death combos. Yeah, uh, they do exist. I guess. They're kind of tough to set up, but they do exist. Like they require I believe they require specific DI like the uh, But congratulations to Lucky for 